It didn't hurt the way I thought it would. Leaving you felt like ripping off a plaster, not cutting off a limb. The night I changed the locks, my best friend held my hand. She stroked my hair and poured champagne into a pink glass while you banged on the door and screamed about all the ways that I would not survive without you. I reread your love letters and realised they had been ransom notes all along, holding hostage all the reasons that I should love myself. I know it must have been disappointing when I freed all of that self-love and you saw nothing of the reward. It must have hurt to have converted me into worshipping you only to have me burn down your church. I set fire to everything that you built and did not even let you in to feel the warmth. The bed that we shared is not a shrine for you or a grave for me. Some nights I will offer your side of the bed to other men. Most nights I will offer it to myself. My friend will paint her toenails at the edge of the bed and for once it will be filled with love. The night we changed the locks, I laughed so much. I didn't even notice when my friends covered up the hole that you punched next to the door. We ordered all the Chinese food that you would never buy me in fear that I would get too fat for the dresses you chose for me. She helped me tear up the carpet. We got rid of every bootprint that you left in this house. We put down a soft, fluffy rug. You always hated those. You were so convinced that softness was weakness that you never checked for a backbone under my skin. It didn't hurt the way I thought it would. Leaving you felt like taking a deep breath, not gasping for air. It didn't hurt the way I thought it would. Leaving you felt like the start of my life, not the end of it.